listen, we got another super color fragilistic X me out a dose show for you today. Niggas probably never heard that word used correctly. However, the new disrespect would have showed up with his Joe at. Like, why would you want to be the new disrespectful if you see what happened to the old disrespect? Niggas is straight retarded. However, we gonna figure all that out today on Box 29. Don't play with me, don't play with me, don't play with me. Hey, I know the Box 29 is looking at you. I be like, I know they be looking at you, bro. Cause you be doing it from the hood for me. Why I love this nigga, man? He him, bro. Shout out Box 29 News. Box 29 News. And we're back. Da da da, da da da, and we're back. On Box 29 News, revealing news report. We can box. Right on 29th, it's my beat. So, right up. That's what I'm doing, your boy Chair Mackins in the back, Packins in the back, Gaddington, a couple rackings and all. Very. First of all, come on, you mean niggas. Like, I'm trying to read. But I smoke the thing. But I smoke the thing one more time that y'all keep telling me about that I don't even be hearing no more. And like, y'all smoke the Texas battery A1 since day one. Y'all niggas ain't perfect. However, if you would like me to change the battery or actually remove the smoke detector, please push me to get a plaque in. It's in the bags and not an axe in the chair. Mackington. Just trying to get a plaque in time. You feel me? You niggas don't feel me. However, breaking news. Breaking news. Breaking fucking news. We have Mr. Joe Jackson. I don't know who Mr. Joe Jackson is. He is actually, absolutely, positively, 100% one of the Joeest, stupidest, dumbest, retardedest niggas walking the face of the earth. Because ain't no way you watch YBC Dual Story and then you say, hey, I want to be just like that. Nigga, is you a goofy or a crash up? Sound like both. However, uh, former dyslexia says Mr. Disrespectful is one of the most disrespectful person of them all. This is the shit that I be trying to get the kids to understand. If you go to school, you probably most likely could formulate a goddamn sentence. Now, I'm not the smallest nigga in the world. I've never been to Harvard, Yale, Princeton. None of them institutions. I'm just saying. With the dyslexia and all, I can formulate a goddamn sentence. However, into you, he from the dub. 1900. But he's so locked in with that eight and that 10 mil. Mr. Smack team, for real. They beefing with the whole city. They don't need to click up with nobody but each other. They got some new music coming soon. Tune in. Nigga, you could have just dropped the music. And been disrespectful in the music. This nigga come here proclaiming he's missing this look. Hey, y'all. Um, my name's Joe. Yeah, Joe Jackson. Um, I don't know if y'all know who I am, but I'm disrespectful. Yeah, yeah, I'm disrespectful too. I just want y'all to know this. I got some music coming out. And uh, maybe you should listen. Nigga. If you don't sit your Joe ass the fuck, let me see you. Your Joe stupid John Morant looking ass the fuck down. Talking about you you beefing with the whole city. You literally just seen what happened to a nigga that's beefing with the whole city. Your mom is going to be one of the most disappointed people watching this show. I hope so. Please send this to his mom if y'all know his mom. Please. This nigga's an idiot. If you're not from Philadelphia, if you don't know, we say Joe. You're like, what do Joe mean? Joe means. A cum guzzler. Yeah, 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 yeah. A gat holster. Yeah, 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 For better words of a gator. This nigga crazy. Ain't no way you seen dual life. 
seeing what happened, and said, I want to follow those footsteps. Yeah, that looks like the perfect dream to me. Man, rest in peace to do is no disrespect to do. However, nigga, that's not a uh, road you should want to take. Man, it's a thousand duels in the ground. A hundred thousand, a hundred million kajillion, nigga. Duels in the ground. That's what you want to do? Okay, nigga. It's what you asking for. This is what you want to be known for. So, you better hope and pray, nigga, you go to prison. If not, plenty of space in the ground. However, you is a young, dumb nigga, probably, so you probably ain't got no sense. And I hope you don't get none, nigga. Yeah, since this is the life you want to live, you thought that was so cool and so thorough, and this was some gangster funny. I don't know if you being funny or not. However, y'all do got pistols in the back. So you better hope you go to jail, nigga, and not to hell. You feel me? You probably don't feel me because you stupid, dumb, retarded, maniacal, diabolical in the mug. However, I hope, I pray you do something stupid enough to meet Uncle Lola. Yeah, Uncle Lola, we might got to save this life if you do the honors. But we, he didn't do nothing yet. So go ahead and crash out with your goof ass. What's wrong? In other news, and we at the senior senior steppers. <laughs> if you don't know who the senior senior steppers are, they're actually absolutely possibly 100% a senior citizen. Probably see now as hell. Waited to his 60th plus season to throw his mother love and life away. Paul on his legs and says, Clerk fights off gunpoint robbery suspect in West Philadelphia Corner Store. Well, I'm going to send it over to my sister company. Say the word, please. Into you. 10 4. We are in the Hanford Mini Market. I didn't see the goddamn address. We have a suspect entering all black, gray, drill a step and stop a move and push her or 70. Fix her. Torture her, keep her, her, send her, her uniform on. Oh, my God. Hold on, Grandpa. You got that thing, thing? Yo, my man got the goddamn Wild Wild West pistol with the extended magazine. Yo, what, that's a Ruger? What is that? My name, you can't be doing no old-ass Wild Western robberies like this. What if that reverse button was in there, Papa? Papa, he hit you there. Put that fa fa. Your ass will be saying, Jesus, <laughs> please, not today. You better stop playing, pop up. Into you. In there acting for the, he acting for the cash. You gave it to him? Oh, pop up, you going to jail for $11, my nigga. You got two? 10 for pop up is on a goddamn spree. Second uh, location is Eagles Food Market on 4823 Chester Avenue on 10 8 2024. Pop up, you better stop playing this way. Put that goddamn, put, put that five five on that ass. Into you. Pop up acting crazy. He a, he a vet too. Look at him. Yo, he been doing this for a while. He got three goddamn locations. Oh my God! I, I, Papa ass is playing with fire. Tim for Paul Mendes Lake says in this incident, the offender attempts to rob the store, but a struggle ensues between him and the employee. The offender flees the scene without taking anything. Did you take the guy been punching Papa in his jaw? Boom, boom, boom. Into you. Hurry up, goddamn. That old ass pistol whip. Quick draw, McGraw. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, pop up versus poppy. Yeah, oh yeah, you thought it was a game. We got you now, pop up. Listen, right? 
if you do know this old senior, see, he not see now at all. He know exactly what he's doing. Yeah, that nigga out here committing armed robberies, 60 plus years old. That's all you can do? Kids, this is the shit I'm trying to understand. If you throw your life away early, if you don't make something of yourself early, if you think you got enough time to make up for it on the back and you don't, you will absolutely possibly 100% become the goddamn senior senile stepper. Yeah, that's all your life will be headed to. Being a loser, being a bum, being ain't shit. I know his mom was never probably proud of him. However, she cannot see him doing this dumb stuff. We can on these 4K high resolution old HD cameras. And when we get you, pop, pop, we gripping your old ass right up, sitting you in front of Uncle Lala, introduce you to Uncle Lala. How you doing, Uncle Lala? Please, slap the f Why oh. the see ass? He moved ass a few little kid before his rock. I'll be our test of and Frank McGreen. Someone said Pine Grove. What are the work rates and soon as it costs? Let us know. How much money did you get for the three robberies that you threw your life away for with your stupid ass? In other news, uh, we have the Good Samaritan. <laughs> I used to hate Good Samaritan. I really did. I'm pretty sure I told y'all that I was in Atlantic City. I was in, what was that, Wildwood? Playing with counterfeit money. They called the cops. I started haul ass and Good Samaritan tripped me. The cops jumped on my ass like, WWF wrestle. <laughs> Yeah, they whiz out, is out, is out, my is out, is out. However, I like good Samaritans now. They are actually placed where they are placed for a reason. To keep you niggas in check. Paul but it's like says, bystander helps apprehend suspect after officer involved motorcycle crash in Holmesburg. Well, I'm going to send it over to my sister company. Take it away, please. Into you. We want to get back to our breaking news in the Holmesburg section of Philadelphia here. A police motorcycle involved in a crash with a dirt bike. Uh, this is Fuck Steve Keeley got hit? That nigga acting like he got hit. Nigga... Oh, gee. Steve be drunk as hell with his Grinch the stole Christmas looking at. Anthony. Stanwood and Leon Street. Steve Keeley live at the scene. Steve. So the highway patrol officer is on his Harley that you see smashed there with all these pieces right in the middle of the intersection. This is a four-way stop sign. There you see the dirt bike. The dirt biker had a helmet on. There's no headlights. There's no plate on that. He's in custody right now. He's 22 years old. So it's the nighttime. This just happened within the hour. And the officer says this guy came out of nowhere in the dark. The officer was pretty seating through the intersection after he stopped. And the guy blew through the stop sign, sources tell me. Hits the officer in the left side. The officer may have a broken ankle, but the two bikes were locked in. And our photographer is going to go to the left right now and show the left side of the Harley. And it's all mangled as he walks over to it to show the left side of the Harley. And that he wasn't even going to do that, Steve. You made him do that. He's like, the cameraman's going to do that. The cameraman, like, nigga, I didn't feel like doing that. And you, you can see where all the metal's broken. So they're locked in together. The dirt biker gets it unlocked from all this, and then he starts trying to get away. The officer is on the ground under his bike, and again, with a broken ankle, he can't put any weight on it. He yells to the homeowner here on the corner, my camera guy's going to come over with me now. It's Tony. <laughs> Steve is dead with the camera guy. That nigga acting like that's Maury camera guy. He don't want to do all that, Steve. However, that young boy crazy as hell. You crash into the cop, the cop right there, like, ah, my ankle. That nigga, like, man, man, he's trying to get up out of there. These young niggas is treacherous. Anything. Tony comes out to see if he can help, and he goes, the officer says, grab that guy. So this guy's trying to kickstart his bike again, and here's Tony. Oh, Tony, no. come on over here. Graham, come with me here. Tony, I just tried to explain what happened, but what happened from your vantage point? So you're in your house here on the corner. <laughs> what happens? I heard the loud. Steve, stop playing. You went and got Tony. Tony a real nigga. Shout out to Tony. <laughs> so like, yeah, I talk, nigga. I don't give a damn. I'll tell him what happened right now. Everything I'm saying is true. And to you. Boom. And, uh, you know, I came out the door just because I seen the lights. I seen the officer down. 
And I came over and I said, I, my, my concern was the officer. I would make sure he was okay. And he, he told me, he goes, don't let the kid leave. The kid was trying to kickstart the bike, you know. And he finally got the bike started. And he said, don't let him leave. And, and what he called, I tried to get them off the bike. And finally, I, I ripped them off the bike. And uh, and then the, me and the kid got in a little push and mop match. And, uh, and the cop... Uh, Told, told the kid to get down on the ground, pulled out his gun, and uh, basically uh, by that time, uh, you know, all the police, policemen showed up. How old are you, Tony? Uh, 61. I asked oh, my God! I, 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 shout out to Tony, 61 years old, grip that 22-year-old nigga up. Come here, nigga. Tony, that was dangerous, though, because if I was 22, I'd have been punching the hell out of your ass. It wouldn't have been no pushing. I, first of all, if I was 22 and I hit the cop, we cra- I'm not starting this joint makeup. Tony is never going to see me. As soon as we collide, they go, you feel me? I'm out of there. Nigga, I'm not starting this goddamn bike back up. However, if Tony would have grabbed me, it would have been a bad goddamn day for Tony that day. And a bing, bop, boop. I've been yelling racist slurs and everything. You job ass racist honky mother pig. Yeah, it'd have been a bad day. I would not have got caught like that at the scene. No, you'd have caught me down the street running out of breath, hiding on a porch or something. However, continue, Tony. Sure, earlier. When was the last time you got in a street fight? Probably when you were a child, right? Oh, it's been, yeah, I don't even know the last one. <laughs> and, and, and the Philly street fighting instincts came back to you, and uh, you successfully took uh, a 22 year old kid down uh, who was trying to get away and fight. Uh, I don't know about that. <laughs> yeah, I was just, like I said, I got, got the police the police back you up right there. I wasn't worried about it. <laughs> and then other, other officers came in yeah, and, yeah. and got him in uh, cuffs. That's all, yeah. Has your blood pressure lowered a little bit since I first met? Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> All right. Well, you know, the neighbor, it's the neighborhood. You used to, you get used to this stuff. I mean, it's a place like a racetrack around here. All right, Tony. Yeah. Well, it's a pleasure to yeah. meet and an honor to meet Rocky yeah. 2024 from. <laughs> ah! Good job yeah. from all the citizens of. Good Fair. job, Tony. Like Rocky 2024. You you go ahead, Tony. You go ahead, and keep arresting them citizens, arresting them niggas. Yeah, I'm with you, Tony. Nigga, we together. We rocking with the boys in blue, nigga. You think you are gonna get away from the Idaho? And you lucky I wasn't there, nigga, because if you would have started running, I'd have hawked you. Huh. Nigga, I'd have hawked you, nigga. You lucky I wasn't there, nigga. The same thing would have happened, though. However, anything. Really? Oh, yeah, sure. No problem. Thank there you go. Does a Philadelphia story get better than that? The officer, as we look at that mangled bike, I'm told, probably has a broken ankle. It could have been worse, but he'll be okay. And thanks to Tony, police have this 22-year-old dirt bike rider in custody now they're trying to sort whether or not the uh serial numbers have been obliterated and whether that was stolen or not to charge him with something else but there you go we've been you all see hey nigga hey look they're trying to see if the serial numbers is obliterated see if it's stolen so we can charge him with something else nigga because that's all they're gonna do is slap a slew of charges hopefully all of them stick you gotta get gripped up sit down introduce don't go how you doing Lola? This nigga that ran into one of our officers. Please, slap the f- Bye bye, boy. Right out of his stupid ass. You can boot the ass if things will slip through a cable before us, rob you, I'll be on chest of mountain with Franklin Green, Somerset Pine Grove. What a recreational sending you to cost. Let us know. Why would you not just run with your stupid ass? F is wrong. However, today's episode is sponsored by. Mr. Yusuf Basky! Listen, I do not know if Mr. Yusuf Bay is in any association with the Bay family. Maybe, maybe not. Who knows? If you do not know, he is actually, absolutely, possibly 100% one of my favorite supporters. Yeah, if he ain't going to do nothing, he's going to put comments in. Because he's actually, absolutely, possibly, 100% punching me to get a flag in him. Send the bags a lot of acts in his chair. Mackington, you feel me? You got him a Muggington. You try to get him a little drinkington? Oh, my man try to get drunk Yonington. However, you already know what it is, Yusuf. You already know we here with it, you feel me? That's my dog. So if you want to be like my man Yusuf, like Aja, like Khadija, like Renee, like whoever you want to be like, and get a Cuffington, a Muggington, get a Sippington, a Drinkington, a Shirtington, a Huntington, whatever type of Ington you want to get, please 
get like my goddamn people. I appreciate you, Yusuf. You already know what's going on. What's wrong? In other news, uh, we at Charlie's Demon. <laughs> If you think Charlie only had angels, no, nigga got demons too. However, if you do not know who Charlie's demons are, they're actually, actually, possibly 100% these white devils who out here abusing the kids. Paul by his leg says arrest made for abuse of kids with special needs at Smyrna Elementary School. <gasps> oh my God. I, I, I'm messing with the slow kids? Y'all, y'all crazy. That's bullying. You messing with kids, that's bullying. You messing with slow kids, that's super bullying. Unless you're a kid, then it's just bullying again. You feel me? However, part of my dyslexia, you dirty, nasty, trifling, inconsiderate piece of white she devils. It says, police say, and smear in the Delaware, police say troubling behavior in the local special needs classroom led to a month long investigation ending with the arrest of three female employees. Marissa Johnson, 26, Michaela Lomax, 31, and Morgan Donahue, 21, have all been accused of abusing and neglecting kids with special needs at Smyrna Elementary School. Police say all three suspects would allegedly throw objects at the students, yell, and call them names. That's some kids. You throwing stuff at kids is crazy. I understand you pinching, plucking, gripping up a kid. Throw it some though. I can't wait till we whiz out, is out, is out of y'all. However, into you, in addition to those allegations, Lomax is accused of hitting a student, then spraying him with a water bottle as discipline. Oh, already well, thought they was cats. In 2022, police say Johnson and Donahue allegedly terrorized a student with a digestive disability by feeding them hot sauce and hot takis. Oh my God! I, I, these are some sick, twisted, maniacal, diabolical, crazy. They just doing it to your kid, though. We can't wait till y'all get some kids. And to you, all three employees are charged with endangering the welfare of a child, while Lomax is additionally charged with child abuse. The Smyrna School District says none of the accused employees are currently in contact with the students. The relevant employees have not been in the presence of our students since the district was made aware of the alleged wrongdoing. Most individuals alleged to be involved no longer work for the district. With regards to the remaining employees, the district will honor the employee privacy rights with regards to separation of employment. And we will make our reports to the Department of Education Division of Licensure and Certification, the district said in a statement released on Wednesday. And I'll proofread that. You fake London page? I hope it was better. However, I don't even care about none of that. Y'all just think y'all, I hope y'all didn't think we only deal with the niggas. No, we wear cracker asses out too. However, since y'all thought it was sweet look at this abusable kids, that's the sickest stuff in the world. Just get another job. Yeah, anybody ask you to deal with no slow kids? Yeah, we didn't ask you to do that. So since you wanted to do that, all three of y'all wanted to act like kids, we're going to grip all three of y'all up, sit y'all down, introduce y'all to the district attorney of Smyrna, Delaware. How you doing? What's your name? It's so nice to meet you. However, we do have three females that I hope and I pray and I wish you slap the f that's fucking easy. Where are they stupid ass? Can boot the ass up. Whatever the name of the Delaware penitentiaries is called, we get the calls. Let us know. Where y'all kids at? So we can whiz our, is our, is our update. Is who, is who. What's wrong? In other news, where we at? Stories from the cell. <laughs> if you don't know what stories from the cell are, they're Actually, actually, possibly 100%. Some Wallow made up. Yeah, shout out to Wallow. He used to tell his stories on Million Dollars Worth of Game. He don't do that no more. However, we got some new stories from the cell. These are the stories that all the kids that's going to crash out, all the drillers, stuff and stuff, and move and push us to the 70. Big sir, her, torture her, camper her, send her. These are the stories they're going to tell. However, 
Paul by the selection says, nigga got the Nike ski and them off white joints in jail. Cracking the F up. I'm trying to figure out what's funny about jail. You do got the Nike ski. That's probably how you got there in the first place. Doing something with a Nike ski, probably hopping out them bees, trying to catch a bee. You feel me? Throwing your life away. All types of crazy, maniacal, diabolical stuff. That's probably what you did in the first place. So you probably didn't let that go. However, as for example, like, oh, is these the off whites he's talking about? The the Yeezy slides? I don't or the or the or the Jordans down here. However, whatever he's talking about, all this is garbage. His food is in the back on the floor. Not a lot of food back there. He got pictures of other criminals. He got goddamn cereal bowls over here. He probably drinking juice out of what's this your uh cosmetic bag? Get a nigga. This is the shit. Let me try to get y'all to understand. Y'all be crashing out, but absolutely, positively, 100% of nothing. And then y'all get in there and be like, niggas don't be putting money on my book. Niggas ain't feeding the jail. Niggas ain't do Shut up. Niggas wasn't there when you hopped out them bees, got catching them bees, nigga. I don't know if that's what this young man did. However, probably did. Most likely did. I hope, I pray. That he get interested in Uncle Lawler, though. I really do. Yeah, because he don't look like he learned his lesson. He still got the ski mask. Like, you still got the... Nigga, you got the goddamn evidence on you, nigga? You got to be the stupidest nigga in the world. However, thank you for calling, nigga. Yeah, thank you for using Global Tail Link, nigga. Over the that, kids, please make sure you show your problem. A stupid dumb retarded motherfucker, drill us out the move, push your probably not gonna make it life, probably no dreams, no goals, no aspirations, probably gonna be embarrassing your parents, probably gonna be a senior citizen step up, probably gonna be having stories from the cell. Cause this is like shows mixes are not just mixes acting the worst of the world about swearing our news or like news report. The box. Right on 20 nights from my beat. The oh, fuck. Right out of here. Fuck is wrong with you. Don't play with me, don't play with me, don't play with me.